Across Trinidad and Tobago, we continue to see some Saharan dust in the atmosphere, obviously at a moderate concentration so for those with asthma and pollen allergies. But we could be seeing some relief as we go through the weekend and possibly starting from Friday. We have a low-level trough set to come across the eastern Caribbean, but more so for Trinidad and Tobago and more so for southern areas of Trinidad. A few showers are likely along the south coast for Maruga, Ikakas, out towards Cedrus, as well as for Guaragurari. A couple of showers as you go through your Friday could be on the heavy to, mod heavy to strong side as you get towards the south coast and then eventually spreading towards parts of northern Trinidad. But all the while, Tobago should be on that northern fringe of this moisture, just seeing occasional showers as they go through their Friday. Now, there's yet another tropical wave set to come by as we go into the weekend, but this one will likely be stronger. So we could be seeing some more showers, possibly as early as Saturday morning. And uh, those showers will likely cause gusty winds as well as street or flash flooding across both Trinidad and Tobago through Saturday. But once we get beyond Saturday into Sunday, we see yet another bout of Saharan dust. And this will likely bring the hazy conditions, the dry, dusty air that we've seen of late across Across Trinidad and Tobago to end the weekend and to start Monday, which could also be at high concentration. So we could be seeing unhealthy levels of air quality by Monday. Now, meanwhile, for those heading offshore, those uh, easterly winds are still strong at 15 to 20 knots, maybe gusting a bit higher than that as you go through your Saturday. Waves of two meters offshore for the most part, and around one to one and a half meters to the Caribbean, and then up towards the Gulf of Paria, still remaining quite smooth. Now we have uh, the newest uh, tropical storm, which is Faye, which just formed off the east coast of the United States Thursday afternoon. And uh, this one obviously poses no threat to the Caribbean, but obviously as you go through this hurricane season, it is pays to be prepared as you go into the peak of the hurricane season, which is August and September. So that's your weather.